friends and family will gather in downtown Sioux Falls to remember a teenager who died from an apparent drug overdose. Anya Stefan Yuk was just 17 when she died on Saturday. Now, her grieving mother is speaking out, hoping other parents won't have to deal with similar tragedy. She shared her story with Kevin Land's Perry Groton. Perry? Well, Don and Sammy, this candlelight vigil will take place at 8 o'clock tonight at 10th and Main. Now, while a toxicology report isn't due for several more weeks, Anya Stefan Yuk's family suspects she died from opioids. Nicole Westrup says her daughter Anya's blue eyes could light up the world. Anya, she was a beauty inside and out. She was caring. She had a heart of gold. She loved everything about everybody. But the light has gone out of Westrup's life with the death of her daughter. Her world has been shattered. From been, it's been taken. My world's gone. My Anya's gone. Westrup says a recent family crisis led Anya to turn to pain pills to cope. She basically would just shut down and she told me she's like mom I do this to cause or to stop the pain. Westrup says she tried to get help for her daughter to get off the pills. I tried to take her away from the drugs and all she would tell me is mom it helps the pain. Westrup had hoped her daughter's pill abuse was just a phase but on Saturday she learned how deadly the drugs could be. Her dad called me um, and told me because she lives with her dad. And he said, our daughter's gone. And I'm like, what are you talking about? Our daughter's gone. And he said, she passed away. And everything after that's a blur. That blur in the aftermath of Anya's death has now given way to a clarity of commitment. Westrup wants other parents to be aware of the danger signs about drug abuse in their own children's lives. And people need to be aware that this can happen to you. Because it happened to my family. And we were not prepared. For any of this. Now Westrup is urging people with information about her daughter's death to contact police. Anya's funeral will be Saturday morning. There's a GoFundMe account to help the family pay for funeral expenses. If you'd like to donate, we have a link on this story at Kettleland.com. Okay, thanks a lot, Perry.